this is a quick story, a quick trucking story for Nigel. Um, he passed a comment the other day. Uh, I was chatting to him yesterday, and um, he passed a comment on the. Do you remember the 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 twenty footer that I put in the middle of the trailer? And um, that's how we carry them. You know, we, we load them, shrink up, and then they fill them, and then we stretch them to the middle of the trailer. And he says to me, well, why don't you, why do you have to carry them in the middle of the trailer? And I explained to him this story. Now here, I was delivering some threaded bar um, to this, this threaded bar, but it had been put in, it, this container had had a really rough journey. These threaded bars had been put in against the headboard. That's where they belonged on the headboard. But as as a as a, as part of their journey, they slid towards the back doors. Thank goodness the back doors were well good and shut, and they slid towards the back. So when I came to um, when I came to shorten the trailer to offload it, look all the weight, all the twenty seven ton, moved towards the back which then lifted the truck off the ground. <laughs> yeah. So I had no traction, I had no drive, I had no nothing. Look at this, see the weight, all the weight went back as I shrank it and it lifted up the whole of the truck, the two rear axles of the truck. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a bit scary. But luckily enough, hold on, let's go back. Luckily enough, the the place I was had had look look at that completely lifted the front off the off the thing. The place that I was was um, a can do place, you know. See, that's what had happened. There I am. There's the ramp behind. They put they just put the ramp on and pulled the stuff out, and as the weight came out, it came down, and it was okay. But um, the place that I was. See, I was in a can-do sort of place. I was in a place where, right, rather than, oh, nothing we can do about it, go call the health and safety and blah, blah, and all the rest of it. This place. And, and you know, there's good places and bad places all over the place, isn't there? But this was a can-do. This one, this one went, oh, we've had this before. Okay, no problem. Let's get the stuff out. Because it's just purely the weight of the... Um, there would have been probably 25 to 27 ton in the back of that. And, and and like I explained, it had all slid back towards the back door. It had been put in. Where can we see now? Come on, where were we? Where were we? Where were they? We've lost them already. We've got to go back. There we are. There we are. You can see they've been put in up against the headboard, but on their journey, whether it be a ship, whether it was done um, and they'd fallen over inside the container, whether that was a rough sea journey, whether that was a bit of rough handling in the docks, putting the stuff on in their rough handling, taking it off, whatever, you, you don't know. It just lands on the back. You just, that's the thing you see. You just <laughs> never know. You, you're picking up a sealed container. Yeah, you're picking up a sealed container, so you have to treat them all as if they're bad ones because you don't know what's in there. And you're, you're, you're not, you don't open it until you've got to the customer. And when you get to the customer, you open the doors and you uh, and then you discover, oh my God, look at what's happened here. And this was one of those sort of situations. But you know, Nothing, uh, nothing that can't be overcome, given, you know, you, you've got to have a bunch of can-do people around you, haven't you? And this place was a can-do place. Yeah. So, you know, we would have, we would have, there was many a places you would have turned up and you'd have to have a load of bollards around. And you have to put your jacket on and put your hard hat on and wear your gloves. It still wouldn't have made no difference. You just got to get on with it and do the job. But uh, yeah, it's a funny story for you. Uh, what am I going that way? Look, yeah. The dam, the dam load was too heavy when I 
closed up the container and lifted it off the floor. So imagine um, driving around like that. You wouldn't have any drive at all, would you? Mm. So anyway, I hope that's a, a little trucking story for you.